Hello and welcome to another IELTS writing video. Today we are going to write a letter together in response to a task one general question that was seen in Australia this month. If you find this lesson helpful, you may be interested to visit my blog at IELTSIELTS.com and my new chat website at IELTS-chat.com. The question, as seen recently in Australia, reads, Construction for a new airport in your area has recently started. Write a letter to the local authorities expressing a complaint you have regarding this matter. In your letter, include what your complaint is, why you are upset about this matter, what you suggest as a solution to this dispute. So we're supposed to cover these three things in our letter. Begin your letter with to whom it may concern. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to reread the question to yourself. Okay. Now let's get to a nice fresh page. So the letter is pretty straightforward. We are to include these three areas in our letter. As you know, there are a few different sections to a letter. The first is some kind of salutation, which is um, a basic a basic hello, and um, today, in this question, this has been given to us, so to whom this may concern. Okay, so our salutation. Uh, now we follow this with a statement of purpose, so a statement outlining why we are writing this letter today. So the obvious thing is that there is a problem that we have with the construction of this new airport. And these sorts of questions, the easiest thing is to provide the obvious. I think one problem um, would most likely be maybe noise. So if um, people are, are constructing things near where you live, it can be, um, it can be difficult. So let's uh, let's come up with a complaint. Let's say that the the noise has been um, has been ongoing for a while, and perhaps that it uh, it continues late into the night, and that this is not comfortable for the people that live in the area. So that, let's say that's the basis of our complaint. Um, so we might start with uh, something along the lines of I am writing uh, maybe to express my dissatisfaction uh, with the construction work being construction work uh, being carried out out for the new airport um, in my area, you'll see. I'm writing to express my dissatisfaction with the construction work being carried out for the new airport 
in my area. Um, okay, now uh, maybe we can use a sentence that will allow us to lead into the second paragraph. So as you know, the, the first paragraph, this paragraph is sort of just a statement of purpose. Why are we writing this letter? The second paragraph is going to outline the details of the letter and the details of uh, today. It's the details of our complaint, why we are upset. And this will be followed by a paragraph, a third paragraph, that um, outlines what we want. So of course today, after we you know we make this complaint about the noise, uh, we might also um, in in the third paragraph uh, just clearly say what it is that we want. So we want the noise to be reduced. So to finish this first paragraph, let's link into our second. Perhaps we could say something along the lines of "Allow me to elaborate um, on why I am so." Um, we'll say maybe why I'm so perturbed. Okay, uh, why I'm so upset. Now, phrases like this, you can, uh, you know, commit them to memory and, um, and, and use them on the examination as you see fit. So, for example, um, you know, even if we were writing a letter that's not a complaint letter, but a letter that is perhaps complimenting somebody or thanking somebody, we might change this to allow me to elaborate on why I was so impressed with your company's service. Okay, so we, you know, we're just modifying this, this little part here. Allow me to elaborate on why, oops, allow me to elaborate on why, and then however you want to finish it. Allow me to elaborate on why I feel you need to improve or allow me to elaborate on why I uh, I feel this way about your company. So today we have allow me to elaborate on why I'm so perturbed, on why I am so upset. Okay, now we have to share some details about, um, you know, why we are angry and why we are writing this letter of complaint. So uh, maybe we can just start with something kind of a little bit informal, but you see, um, following the commencement, uh, we'll say the commencement of the uh, of the project last month. Uh, let's say the residents of this area. Um, now we'll say maybe that they have had to endure the noise, you know, night and day, day after day, week after week. So the residents of this area have had have had to what's they put up with. Construction related noise twenty four hours a day. We'll say let's just you know we'll, we'll just go the extreme and say that the, the noise never stops. It just continues, you know, morning and night. Um, now we might you know uh, we can you know make it a little bit more realistic and just you know demonstrate some of our our writing ability to our our examiner. Maybe we could say something along the lines of, uh, "I am aware." Um, maybe that you know we have read somewhere that that this airport is a rush. That they you know the uh, maybe the city is trying to build this airport quickly. So let's just share something like, "I am aware you are in a rush." to uh, complete uh, the project. Um, but the choice you've, you have made uh, to have your 
team work all night, every night, uh, is a little inconsiderate. Okay, so let's just review that sentence there. I am aware you are in a rush to complete the project, but the choice you have made to have your team work all night, every night, is a little inconsiderate. Um, okay, now maybe we can even you know take this a bit further and say that perhaps this area is a family area. So um, not only is it you know a residential area where people are living, but you know there are there are families and, and children there who. Um, you know, are, are trying to, to perhaps um, sleep, you know, in, in the night, and, and this uh, noise is not helping us at all. So, um, um, so this area is uh, home to, to a large, large number of families. And I can tell you, and I can tell you they are all aggravated uh, by the um, by the situation. Okay. So this area is home to a large number of families, and I can tell you they are all aggravated by the situation. Um, now let's finish this paragraph by perhaps making a comment that you know we're a little bit surprised that action has not been taken yet uh, regarding this matter. So uh, let's say something along the lines of, I am shocked you have not... Uh, as of yet, taken measures to address these issues, let's see. Uh, sorry, this issue. I am shocked you have not, as of yet, taken measures to address this issue. Okay, let's take it back up to the top of the paragraph and read it together. You see, following the commencement of the project last month, the residents of this area have had to put up with construction-related noise 24 hours a day. I am aware you are in a rush to complete the project, but the choice you have made to have your team work all night, every night, is a little inconsiderate. This area is home to a large number of families, and I can tell you they are all aggravated by the situation. I am shocked you have not, as of yet, taken measures to address this issue. Okay, now let's start our third paragraph, which is a, a, um, a simple, straightforward, and strong statement of what we want and um, you know what we want the person to, to do after they read this letter. So let's say it uh, strongly. We don't want to be weak at this point because we're angry. This is a, a letter of complaint. So I am expecting immediate uh, remedial action action to be taken with your team. Let's see. Okay, I am expecting immediate remedial action to be taken with your team. Now, um, I think that phrases like this, I am expecting immediate and then whatever, uh, these kind of phrases are good to remember because if you get into your examination and you're asked to write a, a letter that, uh, you know, a letter of complaint or a letter, you know, expressing some some anger about something, these kinds of phrases are, are perfect to have uh, stored, away, uh, stored away in your memory and then you can just pull them out as you need them on the examination. So, I am expecting immediate remedial action to be taken with your team. 
Now let's even take it a bit further. Let's say that you know maybe we will pursue legal action if something is not done about this situation. So, um, so the people living, uh, people living um, in this area, and I have already decided that if major changes are not made before the end of the week, um, we are going to pursue legal action. So major changes not uh, made before the end of the week, we're going to pursue legal action. Okay, so very forceful, we're stating our expectations uh, with confidence and with strength, and um, this is reflected well in the letter. And now all we have to do is say goodbye. And of course, you know, we're not going to say yours truly or sincerely. That's something that you would write to somebody that you're perhaps on good terms with. No, we're we're uh, we're unhappy here. So let's um, perhaps say something like um, expecting prompt results. Ryan, expecting prompt results. Or um, I think we used expecting once before. Let's try anticipating, anticipating prompt results. Okay, so let's read the letter together from the top. And I think you'll see that the three paragraphs work well together. Uh, they express the story, and they also are written in a tone that uh, makes it clear to anybody reading the letter that we are not happy with this situation and that we want immediate change. To whom it may concern, I am writing to express my dissatisfaction with the construction work being carried out for the new airport in my area. Allow me to elaborate on why I am so perturbed. You see, following the commencement of the project last month, the residents of this area have had to put up with construction-related noise 24 hours a day. I am aware you are in a rush to complete the project, but the choice you have made to have your team work all night every night is a little inconsiderate. This area is home to a large number of families, and I can tell you they are all aggravated by the situation. I am shocked you have not, as of yet, taken measures to address this issue. I am expecting immediate remedial action to be taken with your team. The people living in this area and I have already decided that if major changes are not made before the end of the week, we are going to pursue legal action. Anticipating prompt results, Ryan. Okay, so I, uh, I hope that lesson was helpful regarding how to write a letter with a, uh, a tone of dissatisfaction. Thank you for listening and have a great weekend.